Let's go over the releases from Warhammer Fest today that we had for Warhammer 40,000. The first announcement is something we already knew, but we're getting a new codex for Chaos Space Marines, and they are finally getting an Estra wound. One of the reveals is that we're getting new Possessed models. These will be about the size of a Space Marine in Gravis armor, and look freaking awesome. Probably the coolest looking reveal all day. I love these minis. And we also have new Cultist models. These minis have been missing from the GW web store for a while, so it's nice to see they're making a return. Then we have Mutants and the Accursed Cultist. A lot of these have a Lovecraft vibe to them, which I'm kind of digging, but you can tell they were just normal people that have started to mutate due to chaos. Then stepping away from the human looking, we have a new line of torments. These are just twisted, crazy looking chaos monsters. I believe they were cultists that have just gone all the way towards chaos. And with this new line of cultist based minis, we have a new HQ choice that is the Dark Commune. All we know is that he'll be a good HQ choice for anyone that's running a cultist heavy team, so it's nice to see more of an ability to run a horde heavy list with the Chaos Space Marines now. That'll be a nice alternate way to play for this new codex. Besides that, a major announcement for Chaos is that World Eaters are finally getting their own book. We really don't know much about it yet, but it will be separate from the new Chaos Space Marine Codex, similar to how Death Guard and Thousand Sons have their own books. The only preview we've seen for this are some of their weapons, and we know there will be exclusive minis for this Codex, and we should be getting some special rules for them in the White Dwarf, when the Chaos Space Marine book drops, since they won't have the World Eater rules in there, this is just a placeholder till the full thing comes out. The final Chaos announcement is that there will be a big bad demon prince model. This won't be out for a while, but it has a setup for any of the Chaos Gods, as well as Undivided. And actually has a different head build for each god. I really like the Nurgle one in this picture, they all look pretty good. We know that he was a former Chaos Space Marine, but we know very little besides that. So leaving the realm of Chaos, we also have a new chapter to prove coming out, which will have some major changes. So CP is being reduced by about half, but you'll gain command points as you go throughout the game. So early on it will be harder to pull off crazy one turn combos. That setup where you don't start with that many, but you gain it throughout the game is similar to how Kill Team works, and I quite like that system for CP. I'm sure it will really shake up the meta. And an absolutely awesome change for Games Workshop is how they're handling chapter to prove points. And the points are no longer in the book. All changes will be free on their app or the Warhammer community site. I'm so glad they are going this route. So you don't have to buy the book, just know how to build your list now. All point changes will be free. And the final reveal for today is a new model for the squats. And that's a hover trike. This isn't the kind of throwback and visuals I want from the army. So I'm pretty happy they went this route. And I'm excited to see what else comes out for it in the future. Alright, that wraps up our 40k news from Warhammer Fest. I'll 100% be covering the kill team stuff on Friday. So make sure to come back for that, and remember to like this video. Thank you for watching.